we reserved it night one of the Bronco reveal and waited in anticipation for it along with our four door. And uh, we've really been enjoying it. This has been a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, I forgot we put the different button on. Oh, it sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Building Built Right. As you can see, I am standing over the hood of our 2021 Bronco. This is our two-door Big Bend six-speed manual Bronco with a 2.3 in it. Um, today we are doing an unbuild. So as you saw last week, if you watched the video uh, with our F-150 build, we are always kind of moving in and out of vehicles for uh, R&D and testing and promotion. And this is one of those things we need to make some room for additional projects. So right now we're going to say goodbye to this two-door. Um, we are taking off all of the parts and modifications so that we can sell it in its stock form. Uh, among those modifications are we worked with Toyo and 1552 on a wheel and tire package, 37s. We worked with Recaro to develop some seat mounts for this Bronco. We had those in a couple of SEMA builds a few years ago. Um, this is one of those vehicles that we we reserved it night one of the Bronco reveal and waited in anticipation for it along with our four-door and uh, we've really been enjoying it. This has been a lot of fun. Um, so let's take a look at what these guys have spent the morning doing. How are these 37s? You almost just got clapped in the chin. <laughs> No, I didn't. She bounced. Stack of stock tires. Maddie is currently taking off the support that was holding on this 37 with the 1552 rim. This thing is going to look a little bit funky with the like one inch lift on it with the stock tires, but as you can see, it's not a crazy lift. These fenders. Yeah. Yeah. C3's got more meat. They're actually lighter than the what? The Corvette's wheels. Interesting. Oh, well, the Corvette's wheels are like bricks from the 80s. Yeah, literally, like <laughs> some of like, how can we make this heavier? <laughs> A rotational mass, you know. We got to make sure this thing keeps rolling. We knew those things were so fucking weak. <laughs> Give them momentum so they go the rest of the way. <laughs> This Sasquatch flares, we'll switch them back to the stock flares. They just have one, two, three, four, five little levers. And that's it. We might not want to show the internet this. <laughs> they know. All right, that side's not going to fall off. Yeah. Do you can want? We make, uh, can we make this side not fall off? Too? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I forgot we put the different button on. Oh, it sounds terrible. <laughs> oh, that's scary. <laughs> How much do you think these baddies weigh? What do you a think? A little bit more than a basketball. <laughs> that's that's a good range, guys. A little, little less than an engine, a little more than a basketball. I like that. 1552 makes some wild wheels. Get it! <laughs> 
Oh my word. Dennis jacking off. Hey, 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 Dash mount's still in there. Oh, I can do the antenna over there. And there we are. Perfect fit, steady antenna. Arguably the best mod on this vehicle. Don't get triggered, I'm joking. I'm intrigued. We just have dumb fucking ideas and there's nobody around to tell us not to do it. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Glenn, your six spatulas are here. Now we just need the billet. Tops and bottoms. Very pretty. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. What do you think? I feel like I want a grill. <laughs> nice. Good angle. Good angle. Good flex. I can drink some beer with that. Well, that's cool. Ooh. Oh, that's cooler. Okay. <laughs> Very exciting. All right. Let's get back to it. All right. So what vehicle are we putting these tires on next? That's the real question. My Subaru. Your Subaru or the C3? What do you Not think? the C3. Not the C3. Oh. I'd like to see a, a 2007 Subaru Impreza with all these on it. Honestly, without the fenders and the stock tires. It, it could looks be like worse. A 90s Jeep. Yeah. The tiny wheels and the giant fenders. Could be worse. I like it. Kind of funky with that lift, but it's not bad. We have to find the fenders, actually. Yeah. I have no idea where they are. The Squatch. It's the Squatch fenders. We're about to remove the Recaro racing seats that we had put in the Bronco previously and uh, swap them out for the original factory seats. Yeah. <laughs> tighten it back up. <laughs> no, I oh, you can't even tighten it back up. Can't even adjust which direction. <laughs> Let me know when you need a tool to flick the switch. I'm gonna get my screwdriver. That's so funny. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I tried to warn him. <laughs> no, you didn't. I came over here and said ropes. <laughs> That's. <laughs> you were like, a what? <laughs> I know ah. you hate hand tools. I'd rather have a motor do it for me. Come on. Yeah. Why yeah. you designed those seat brackets? Must have been so smart. Yeah, that you can't use power tools. <laughs> <laughs> this is what mechanics mean when they say engineers. <laughs> Dennis somewhere is clapping in agreement. Yeah. <laughs> Found the whip antenna. Those donuts have me feeling extra focused. Extra focused? I've never heard of donuts making someone feel Nah, like I could probably take a nap right donuts. now. <laughs> I take a nap, but you're extra sharp. <laughs> How's this going down here? It's going. I thought the seatbelts were independent on this car. Oh, really? So these actually are a safety feature. I know we had some sort of a prototype on here with Molly. We just never did anything with that, right? Kind of a bit of a bend. Oh, that's good. Like a bunch of people make one that's just flat across, but like, great. What that's are you gonna store in there, your map? Oh my God. If you guys didn't get a chance to see our full seat back Molly product overview and product breakdown, check it out. It's from a few videos back a few weeks ago, but we set it up on this Bronco seat so you guys can see how we bolt into the seat frame and why our seat back Molly solution is the most rigid uh, one out there. So yeah, that's what Rhodes is about to disassemble and then we'll get this guy in the truck and she'll be back to stock. Nice.
Are you reattaching the uh, the seatbelt receptacle? I am. Very cool. I'm trying to figure out uh, exactly where all these wires are supposed to go. What do you mean? We know exactly where all this stuff is supposed to go. <laughs> <laughs> While Rhodes is getting that seat back molly panel off, Maddie is putting in this passenger seat. Completely contorted. Get my fingers in the wrong spots. <laughs> nice, that's that's a that's a usual occurrence here. Cool beans. Please don't put that in the video. I won't put that in the video. Maybe put it in. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Matt was able to find the stock fenders. And then he clicked some flicked some switches or clicked something down there. Pins. Right left. Rear left. The right left. Right left. The right left fender on the, the right front rear on the front rear bumper. Exactly. <laughs> Fender. Fenders. Fenders. All right, we gotta stop. We had taken out the back seats just to increase the storage space and so that we can have the, uh, the cargo panels, the cargo molly panels mounted with easy access for, for install guides, what have you. So these little posts are what are locating our back seat and so now we have uncovered them and are about to throw them in. And then this is the graveyard of parts. I mean we've got the two Recaro race seats, Sasquatch fenders, got the molly panels with the ARB compressor and then the giant 37s. Dude I'm so fucking sweaty. You ready right. to be done with this thing? One or two. <laughs> Done. Done? <laughs> it <laughs> looks like, like it's just a me. few bolts. I know it looks like just a few, but it's taken a minute for sure. And there's a lot of alignment that has to happen. And so it's looking very good. The truck is almost back to stock fully. Oh, that's a thick boy. Man. Yep, I agree. We're taking off the uh, the roof panels just quickly because we have this awesome net in here that kept a lot of wind out when you're driving down the highway. So that will be uh, removed in a second. Feels like we've been taking parts off of this thing for a good five hours. It's only been a few, but but yeah, we now have the screen from inside the roof fully removed. Rhodes is getting these crash bars back in. Uh, the decal on the windshield is now removed up here. Matt expertly removed the decals on each side. The back window is clean, so it's kind of a leave no trace situation, I think. Alright, so that is what we've got for you this week. Our two-door Bronco is back to totally stock. We took off our dash mount, our molly panels, the Recaro seats, wheels, tires, uh, peeled the vinyl off of it, uh, license plate relocation kit, I'm probably forgetting other stuff. Anyway, it's going to be a great vehicle for the next person that owns it. We've got a pile of parts. We'll find a way to give them away or sell them or something. That'll be kind of a fun project. Next week, we're going to go heavy on product development. We'll share some of that with you. Check back on Monday.